Hello, Lava friends. Let's talk about what's new in the framework. I got some pretty new cool features. Let me show you. First, we have two new methods for the string helper to base64 and from base64. And you guessed it already, it's about base64 encoding and decoding. You can now do it fluently through the string helper. Thank you very much, Mark. Next, we got a new method on the array helper. I'll show you. I do have here an array of numbers, one to six, and what I already could do in level is make a collection out of this array, collect numbers, and then use the take method. And yeah, give me the three first items. That's what this take method does, or what we can also do is we can use minus three and then this will give us the last three items from this collection. So this already worked and now we can do the same with the array helper in level. So this also takes the take method and then we provide our numbers and then the limit, let's start with three again. You can see the result is the same, it's just an array. And of course, minus three works as well. So you can use now the same method on the array helper. Now I have two new PHP attributes you can use in your level applications. They are not the first one we have in the framework, but it still is a pretty big deal. So I have here my podcast model. And what this model does is there is an observer for this podcast model. Let's take a look at this podcast observer. So we're listening for some events and if they happen, we do stuff. And for the created event, I'm just raying out here a log message to see that a podcast was created. And I have this artisan command to create a new podcast for me in this case. And you can see here, we get the message. Let's make it a little bit bigger, but this worked already. So this observer was connected to our podcast model. And this was being done here through the event service provider and here through the podcast observe method, I've added my observer. So this is how this work. But let's get rid of this. And you can see now if I create a podcast, we don't get this message because this observer is not connected anymore, but we now can connect it in a very new cool way by using a PHP attribute. And the attribute is called observe by. And now I can provide here my observer class. So similar as before, podcast observer the class here. And yeah, if we create now a podcast again, you will see we get our log message again. Yes, it works. So now this is a new way how we can connect our model to an observer. And I think this is very beautiful. So my podcast model also has a global scope applied. And this is being done through the boot method. If we go down here, you can see we are adding a global scope and this one is called published scope to only give me the podcasts which are published. And if we take a look at our database here, I'm doing this here right in PHP Storm, you can see we have three podcasts and only one of them is published. So I have already prepared here a get podcast artisan command which just locks me out the podcast, which I have all of them. And currently we only get this one, which is published because our global scope was working. If we remove this, run this again, you can see we now get all of the podcasts from our database because yeah, the global scope is not being used here anymore. But now there's a cooler way than using the boot method to do this. We can also use a PHP attribute. So again, let's add another here. This one is called scope by. And now we use our publish scope class. And now if we run it again, voila, you can see this works. Now we only get our published podcasts back. And this is now a very cool and more convenient way to do this. And also this is done right inside the model itself, which I really like. Thank you, Elise, for those new attributes. And last, there is new collection method, which I'm 100% sure we all would have needed already a couple of times. So I do have here a collection of arrays. We have here team members from the level team, Christoph, Joe, and James, email and job. And if I return this, of course, I get back just the collection. But let's say we only want to get back now the name of all of them. So what you could do is you could use something like the map method here on collection, and then only return for every item here specific fields. And in our case, let's say only the name. So this is how this could work. Let's run this. Yeah, you can see we only have not a name. Let's make this an array. 
because now it's a little bit easier to see here we only get back the name of all of those fields. So this was working before, but now we have a way better way to do this with the select method. Let's only provide the name here and voila, we have the same result. Pretty cool. Let's add another one. Let's say name and email. And you can see now we have the email as well. So this is now a way nicer way to select specific fields from a collection, but only the ones that you want to see. Thank you, Craig. Wow, pretty cool new stuff for you to use in your Laravel projects. Have fun and please let me know in the comments which one you like the most. See you soon. Bye.